to the witch house, pull up a chair, have a sit, and let's chat. And guess what, guys? I got a new Kickstarter deck. So I got, ta-da, the Lucky Potion Oracle. I'm so excited because these are so different and there's dice involved and you get a mat and all kinds of cool stuff. So let's get into it. So I have this lovely little card. Oh, so cool. So here is their, here is their logo for the Odd Mix Market. That's their logo, and here is their information, because this deck will be for sale, and I will also put a link down below to, I got a sticker! I love stickers. And, oh, look at this! Certificate of Authenticity, I have deck 91 out of 1,000. Whoop, whoop! How sweet. Ah, oh, sweet. Listen, thank you so much for supporting Lucky Potion Oracle. You made this project possible, and I'm so deeply grateful, wishing you the perfect potion every day. Oh, I love it. There's nothing, I think there's nothing better than getting a handwritten note from the author. Um, thanking you for your participation in, in making their, uh, their dream a reality. And so I, I, that's the other thing I love about Kickstarters is they're very, it's a very personal touch, um, you know, it, and to know that uh, everybody who backed the deck got a card like that. That's a lot of writing. That's a lot of dedication. And you know, it's not lost on me. I appreciate that. So, I'm excited. Ooh. Well. <laughs> what is in here? What is in here? Oh, that's right. That's right. I backed it at the tier to get... Oop. The Oddity Tarot as well. So, and of course, I didn't bring my scissors with me. Hold that thought. They're right back here. <laughs> I was cutting some coupons that I got at VegFest a couple weeks ago, so... I had him over on the sofa, but well, there we go. Some tough plastic. Yay. All right. So I have that. I have the oddity tarot. I'll show that second because the lucky potion is really what this is about. I backed this deck on Kickstarter. It's got this great box, and look at this, you guys. It lifts off, and everything is right here in the top. So, we have... Oh, this is so adorable! This is so cute! You have the little Lucky Potion mat. Um, which you can, you know, put your cards on, roll your dice on, or I should say your die. So here's, here's the, the die. And I, I, I don't know how the, the, it's been a while, so I have to look at the book to, to remember how the dice works. But here's, here's the little white book. And it is, it's a little white book. Um, it's 55 pages and I love this. Drink it, share it, throw it. <laughs> so that's so cute. Water, wind, earth, and fire are the, are the four suits. And, um, 
each card each card has what the deck is about and then these are the different definit divinatory meanings which is either uh, what did I say drink it share it or throw it so that's interesting I'm very excited oh it's nice 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 okay so the book is also I don't know if you can see color color coded see the edges it's probably not the best anyway the edges are color coded to go with the cards in each of the suits so I like that I also like look it's a little square deck and the the eye is everything the eye is everything I am so in love with the eye um, so awesome oh my gosh oh you guys the card stock the card stock oh my gosh it's like a linen finish it's a linen finish card stock dreamy dreamy okay so let's have a look at the cards so we have um, how many cards are there Ooh, looks like there's 11 in each suit, so that's 44, I think. 44 cards. Let me double check the, um, doo -doo -doo. let me double check the beginning here. Does it say? No, it doesn't. But if there's 11 per suit, okay, so here we go. Here's suit number one, Magic. And I do believe this is water. I think what no water's not green. Of course not, Jen. What is this? I think it is earth. Is that earth? Wind. Okay. So this is the wind suit. Wind. Wind is green. Hmm. Okay, so we have magic, dedication, possible, confusion, paradox, disguise. Oh, trickery, sleight of hand with the bottles, opulence, love that. Ooh, octahedron luck. Now that's interesting. Okay, so that was the suit of wind. Now I think we're going into the suit of water. So we have solitude. Oh, she horsey. I think I could really get lost in these um, these depictions. There's just so much to look at and to to think about. Um, I really love the artwork on this. And I'm sure I'm going to love it even more once I read the book and connect the book with the cards. Look at the octopus. Mischief, all right. Origin. Ooh. Wow. Okay, that's, that's, wow. From a fish to sushi. Ooh, all right, so the 11 card here is the Icosahedron Luck. Icosahedron Luck. Interesting. These, I'm not a math person, 
I love alchemy, but sometimes it takes a while to, to actually get into my brain. I really have to think about it. It doesn't come naturally to me. So, interesting. All right, now we're moving on to the green suit, which I think, oops, is earth. This is a darker green. So we have a couple different greens here, but this is the earth suit. So we have tradition, breath, Impulse. <laughs> Venus fly traps. They can't help it. They just they just do. They have to do, you know. They have to get it. Whatever comes close, they will bite. Strength. Wow. Exploration. <coughs> I love these. Love, love, love. And then we have cube luck now. Cube luck for Earth. All right. And then our last suit is uh, the color purple. So that is fire. I love it. Fire is purple. Excellent choice. <clears throat> I'm a Leo, I'm a fire sign, so, and everybody knows I'm part of the Purple Club. So, yeah. So, fire, memory, oh yeah. Ha! <laughs> Confrontation! Ha <laughs> ha! Wowzer! Inevitable. Oh, this one's amazing. Passion. Absolutely. Our hearts are all in. Satisfaction. I love it. It's the cauldron. How wonderful is that? <laughs> Desire. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. That's the wrong side of fire. <laughs> huh. Oh, yeah. You respect my authority. <laughs> Confidence. Even when we're not feeling it. <clears throat> and now we have a tetrahedron block. So, yay. All right. So, that is all the cards. I am going to, let me take a quick look in the deck to see if it has anything in here. Um, <clears throat> spreads. I didn't look to see if there were spreads or anything. Nope. No spreads. So, um, it just says, these are your lucky potion oracle guidance cards. As you prepare to use these cards, picture yourself in an alchemist's lab. Shelves of bottles line the walls in front of you. Each bottle is different. Every shape, color, and size you can imagine sits right within your grasp. Looking around the room, you see the elements of earth, water, wind, and fire, all contained here in these glass vials. A sense of confidence and hope fills you as you inhale the rich scent of magic. And know that in this lab, you can find an answer. Focus on your question, problem, or situation as you begin to shuffle the cards. Let your desire for guidance fill your body and flow into the cards. Give the cards a chance to respond to your request. You'll know when this moment has happened. When you pull the card from the deck, look at the potion you've drawn and let your intuition guide you. Wow! Sweet! That is awesome. 
It also says in this alchemist lab, you select the glass bottle with your answers. Will you drink it, share it, or throw it? That's very cool. Very cool. So it says, this is a guidance book to offer you direction on how you may want to interpret the potions. Included in your oracle set is a special six-sided die. If you need help deciding what to do with your potion, roll the die and refer to the written guidance in the handbook. So that's awesome. And of course, you can use this right along with a tarot deck. So, I'm, I'm going to give this thing a, a shuffle here. Oh, oh, my God, you guys. Riffle Shuffler's Dream. Riffle Shuffler's Dream. These cards are amazing. The card stock, the linen feel. Oh, yeah. And shuffle, amazing. Absolutely amazing. You know, the, the shuffle ability here is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. You got to get these cards. I'm telling you, man, got to get these cards. So, I mean, look at the, the mix there. Not too bad. More of that is probably me than the deck. <laughs> I'm an awful riffle shuffler usually. I have to really get used to the cards, but it bridges which is something I'm usually not able to do with, uh, with tarot decks. So that says something that if I can bridge these cards. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm going to pull a card for my week. For my week ahead. What, what card do I need for, for the week? What card do I need for the week? Okay, one more, one more little riffle here. <clears throat> All right, here we go. My card for the week is Ta da! Oh, I don't like this card. I got deception. <laughs> Yesterday, we went into Mercury Retrograde. Nice card to start with. I'm not even going to think about it. I am going to roll my dice and let it tell me whether I'm going to eat it. No. Eat it, drink it, or throw it. <laughs> eat it, share it. One of those things I'm going to do. So what do I got here? I have... The, the potion bottle like that. All right, so what do we got here? I've got, uh, let's see. Yes, I know, Baker, right? We got it, all right. So the, um, that bottle is drink it. So I'm apparently going to drink the deception. So what the book says is, this potion sits behind what looks like a collection of swords blocking you from grabbing this bottle. As you glance away, the swords seem to shift out of focus. Take a deep breath, you steal yourself and reach for the bottle. The swords fade to nothing as your hand wraps around the, wraps around the round orb and pull it from the shelf. Not all obstacles are real, and sometimes you must trust yourself in what you can't see to find the way. As you take a long drink from the bottle, the warmth of the liquid fills your mouth, then your head. In an instant, it's as though a blindfold has been pulled from your eyes. All the problems you thought were blocking your way are easily moved past. You only need to take the first step forward. Sweet! That actually turned out to be a pretty darn good read. All right. I love this deck. This is going to be so much fun to use. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. So I will link their shop down below so you guys can get yourself a copy of this wonderful Lucky Potion Oracle. 
All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Much chakra love.